Uh, yeah, so three years ago when we spoke, there was only one product, which was a face product. And in fact, there were questions even then, uh, you know, c- can we have it for the whole body? But yeah. uh, c- could you talk about um, the other products that you developed in the, you know, in the p- past three years? Yeah, definitely. So once we developed the face product, the second product that we thought that was important to bring was a body product because we wanted to tr- we want to treat your skin as a whole, not only your face. Mm-hmm. We recognize that your skin is an organ, so we needed to really improve the health of your skin entirely. And uh, so we developed this body product that contained the peptide, contains a lower concentration of our of the peptide because our body different differently from our face is not as exposed to sun damage and other uh, damage as uh, as our face is. So it has a lower concentration of the peptide, but has also other ingredients that support on again soothing, hydration, uh, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory. So one of them, it, we have ceramides that helps your skin barrier. We have sulforaphane that's a very potent antioxidant. It's a molecule that's also studied a lot in the longevity studies. Um, we have uh, another uh, very hydrating ingredient that's called the uh, centerella mushroom extract. And that one can hold uh, up to 400 times more water than hyaluronic acid. So it's a very, very potent like moisturizing and uh, the results that we have seen with this product is really impre- they are really impressive because they are not only improving your skin health in terms of appearance but they are making your skin thicker so mainly for older um people we see that their skin gets thinner and starts like to getting uh weaker and and bruising easily over time so people have been able to have a stronger skin and avoid like the skin to tear as easily, to bruise as easily. So it has brought a lot of impact and improved the quality quality of life for those uh, customers. Uh, and then after that, we developed like a cleanser. So basically the cleanser is just like a basic step of, your, of any skincare routine that you needed to cleanse your skin every day. If you apply sunscreen or if you use makeup or whatever, you need at the end of the day to remove all that uh, dirt or impurities that accumulate on your skin. So this cleans that what we could show is that it also helps the peptide to absorb better. So with the test that we did in the lab, when we cleanse the skin with PrEP, that's the facial cleanser, it more than doubles the absorption of the peptide meaning that the peptide will be able to penetrate better in the skin and will be more effective in promoting uh, the benefits to your face. And then uh, the the next product that we developed was an eye product because as we were studying the differences of the skin of our face, our body, and our eye, we, we noticed that the skin around our eyes is thinner, is around five times thinner than the skin around, you know, the rest of the face. And there are studies showing that when you measure the biological age just under or above your eyes, it's 20 to 30 years older than the skin around your temples. So it's, a, it, as we know, it ages faster, but we didn't know that age that fast. <laughs> uh, so uh, we decided to create a formulation that was more potent to counteract the aging, the accelerated aging in the skin of around our eyes. So for that product, we increased the concentration of OS1 peptide. So we have the highest concentration so far. And we added other ingredients that also help on puffiness on uh, dark circles and also improving firmness and hydration in the skin. And we ran clinical studies, as I said, for all of our products and the eye clinical studies results are the strongest one that we have seen so far. So we saw very significant uh, improvements in elasticity, 
that we measured with an instrument. So it's quantitative improvement. It's just not subjective perception um, of like 24%. And hydration was above 30, 33%. Skin barrier also improved. So, and the before and afters of this eye product is really, really impressive as well. We see a lot of customers that they have the eyelid like drooping, that it basically showed like a lifting effect, almost like if they had <laughs> done like a blepharoplastic surgery. So that, that has been really interesting to see how developing a very specific formulation led to very impressive results. Um, and then finally, the last product that we developed was a sunscreen. So it's a mineral sunscreen that it's safe. Uh, it doesn't penetrate in, in, in your skin. So it creates like a physical barrier. Uh, and it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. It, it spreads really easily on your face. Uh, doesn't leave you a, a white cast. And on this sunscreen, we also added the peptide because it's not only protecting against sun damage, it's also helping to repair sun damage that you have accumulated over the years. And uh, we also added like five antioxidants that helps counteract uh, free radicals that we also generate on a daily day-to-day day -day exposure to environmental stressors. So it's a very potent anti uh, sunscreen that uh, is designed not only to protect, but also to repair sun damage. And that's basically it. We don't intend to create too many more products in terms of, uh, we believe that your skincare routine should be simple. So it's a, it's a cleanser, a moisturizer, a night cream, and a sunscreen, and then you have the body lotion. And so everyone can do it, uh, women, men, it's it's basically for, for everyone that's looking to improve their skin health. What would a daily routine look like? Like how much, when would you use the, uh, like the clean cleanser and how often should you use the, the skin ones? Yeah, uh, so the cleanser you can use only at night. So before bed, you wash your face, you cleanse your face. So you remove, again, all the impurities, and then you apply the eye cream and then the face moisturizer. Um, if you shower in the night, I would also apply the body lotion after shower. I shower in the morning. So in the morning, after shower, I apply the body lotion. I apply the face cream and the sunscreen. You can also apply the eye twice a day if you want more results. Uh, but definitely the face and the sunscreen. And you don't need to cleanse your skin again in the morning because it's already clean from the night before. So during your sleep, you shouldn't be, you should, your skin is not getting dirtier. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, it depends what you do. Um, okay. So the skin is actually an organ, right? So it impacts other parts of the body. So if you were using like the body uh, lotion on the whole, on all your skin, does that have any systemic effect? Yeah, that's a great question. And that's one of the things that we learned as we were developing the research that yes, as your skin ages and your skin barrier weakens, <coughs> it basically becomes more susceptible to infections, to several pathogens and this can cause your skin to be more inflamed and this inflammation that's coming from our skin can actually impact our systemic levels of inflammation so there was already a study published uh, connecting this and then we decided to run a clinical study in which we had participants applying the body lotion uh, twice a day for three months and then we collected blood before they started the 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 study and after after three months and we could see a significant decrease in some inflammatory cytokines such as IL8 uh, and we also saw a trend of decreasing um, the levels in several other cytokines that are related to inflammation. More than that, when we did, and this was a double 
double blind placebo study. So we compared with the cream that is in the market that doesn't contain any active. It's just made of emollient. So it's basically just supposed to create like a physical barrier, but not designed to repair your skin. Uh, and the, the results that we got uh, that is that our product decreased on the right direction, the level of cytokines, while this other product sometimes didn't decrease or increase. And we also saw the perception of the participants uh, in terms of improvements was around like 70 to 80% with our product and only 40% with the control product. So there was a very interesting correlation on their subjective perception and the uh, cytokines that we analyzed as we collected blood. And this, this study was ran by a, the, at least the, the measure of the cytokines by a third party. So we were not running house is something that's completely outsourced. So it makes it more valid in terms of us not being biased uh, on generating the results. <laughs> But it was very interesting. I think what it showed is that, yes, as, as we age our skin, it is getting inflamed. And if we can repair and reduce that inflammation from our skin and make our skin stronger, we can improve the health of your skin and that will impact the health of our body as well. So we will be working, actually we already submitted this manuscript for a publication. So we hope in the next few months uh, it will be available for the public so we can share with your community as well.